Hey guys, Brooks here with District 51 RC. I thought I'd do a quick little video to show you uh, my SAB 420 direct drive. I built this a few months ago, got back into the hobby uh, this year. I've been flying planes for the past few years and I missed flying the helicopters. So uh, this was the first SAB build that I had uh, taken on and I cannot tell you how happy I was with this build. Just how everything went together, the quality. Um, if you know anything about SAB, they have set a pretty high standard. But uh, I thought I'd uh, go over my setup. There's a lot of questions on forums and boards and whatnot about what people are using, what people have had good luck with, uh, maybe you know what to stay away from. Uh, but I may go over my build and uh, maybe this will help somebody that maybe uh, you know, looking at this helicopter. But uh, hang tight, I'm going to take off this canopy and uh, just show you what I've got under there. Alright, got the canopy removed. Uh, just four screws to take the canopy off. Uh, you've got one there at the front. Uh, those are the smaller, two smaller screws. And then in the back you've got uh, two longer screws so literally takes 15 seconds to take the canopy off I know some people don't like the screws but I really don't have any issues uh, luckily with SAB with this particular model you don't have to take the canopy off when you are you know putting in new batteries or taking you know the old ones out they uh, they've got that front load tray which makes you know changing out battery is just super easy they slide in slide out they got a locking me mechanism on the other side that uh, makes it super easy but I thought I would uh, go over the electronics that I'm using again I, I've been flying this since this past June so I've uh, got a ton of flights on it and uh, it's just been very trouble free. I, you know, I'm not a, I do not, I am not a smack, smack pilot. I, I do not fly hard 3D at all. I'm just old Sunday flyer. You know, I just like big air flying around and having a good time. But I'll, I'll kind of go over what I've used and uh, what has worked for me so far. Now to start off with, you'll notice on Cyclic, I uh, decided to go with the torque servos. I have not used these before, but I read a lot of good things about them. And so on Cyclic, I am running the CL0508 Micro HV servos. And I'm uh, running those all the way around. They, one of the reasons I went with the torque was because you can add the programming box which allows you to center the servos outside the he helicopter if you want uh, you can do it on the helicopter as well but it just makes uh, setup so much easier having that program programming box but I think I've got it over here but that's the programming box and what it does you can plug your servo in, set the frequency, and then um, and then also center the arm as you need it for your particular model, and uh, get everything set up. And it really dials things in really nicely. Uh, made setup so much easier. So that that was one of the benefits of going with the Torx servo. I think Theta has a programming box as well and the others you know other manufacturers may do the same thing but uh, the torque servos been uh, trouble free um, easy to set up and so I've I've really enjoyed them you'll also notice and we'll see if we can get in there on the rudder the rudder servo I've got the torque CL06 04T mini HV servo. Um, I've got it set up at 760 and the cyclic I've got set up at 1520. 
so they have uh, they worked really well not too expensive I think the cyclic run about $40 a piece if I remember correctly I think the rudder servo I think it was maybe around 70 so not too bad on price uh, that's one of the other benefits of a 420 is the electrics are going the electronics are going to run a little bit less so it uh, makes things a little bit more affordable now I've got my fly barless unit underneath you can see that spectrum receiver that uh, that receiver is the spectrum 4651T remote receiver and that's the Icon 2 fly barless system underneath it uh, really happy with Icon um, setup was pretty easy um, this was the first time using it and uh, I got to say I, it, it didn't take too much to figure it out the setup wizard uh, went through pretty much everything that you needed and I, I just recommend taking it page by page by page and doing everything in order and you'll have a very nice flying helicopter uh, if you just take it step by step but uh, again went with the Icon 2 um, 5 barless unit and then with that 4651 you may notice I've got another remote receiver under there and that is definitely not necessary on a helicopter this side size but I had an extra one uh, that's a Spectrum 9645 um, and I just had an extra one I thought I'd, I'd you know see if I could get it working and uh, it's a little extra assurance again absolutely not necessary on a 420 to have multiple receivers but if I need it for another project I've got it as far as speed controls go I am running the Hobbywing 80 amp v4 ESC um, kind of hard to see it tucked under there but uh, I think I've got the box right here that you can take a look at this is the 80 amp uh, rated for 450 to 500 size helicopters um, also have the programming box that you can purchase along with that and Definitely recommend that if you go with this ESC because again, it makes programming so much easier. The um, one of the reasons I went with the Hobby Wing was because it integrates with the Icon 2 fly barless unit really well, and so everything just works together. One of the reasons I, I chose these components is I wanted things that worked well together and that I didn't have to do a lot of you know fighting with the only um, thing that it requires is the telemetry table you do have to uh, make your own or, or change out the ends um, I may do a video on that later because it's not hard to do at all but on my I've used an NX10 radio and I have full telemetry on the uh, in the radio so uh, everything just works really well together so that kind of sums up all the electronics and what I'm using in this helicopter if you have any questions or any comments feel free to post them below um, be glad to be glad to answer I think in my next video I'm going to go over my setup in the radio and go through every screen and just kind of show you how I programmed everything and that way you know it may not be exactly what you need but it may help you kind of get started but again appreciate you uh, taking the time to look at the video uh, if you got any questions or comments post them below but hope you all have a great day and happy flying